Hi, everyone. This is Simon. This is Vinny. Uh, and this is the third episode? Yeah, this is episode three. Of the Simon and Vinny podcast, which we now have a name for, sort of. Yeah, it's the lasers. The lasers, or lasers, 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 computers, lasers, which was the actual vote. Somebody on the last video actually told us what they wanted it to be called after two weeks of us telling you to tell us what to call it. Uh, but, you know, we'll still probably call it the Sun Vinny Podcast. It'll be in the description with some colons or something like that. Just put them, put them all in there, the lasers, the yeah. longer lasers than our names. Just for clarity. Just to keep things consistent. Yeah. Um, the person who voted on that was the YouTube account. You said it was Hector's? Hector's with a Z. With a Z. And I'm pretty sure it's my friend Hector uh, Elizondo. Not the Hector Elizondo that is famous. But he's got the same name. <laughs> I didn't even know there was one that was famous. Mm-hmm. What's he do? He's an actor. Hmm. <laughs> and he's he's an actor. That, well, you know, he's Mexican. Yeah. Does is he only <laughs> in like Latin stuff? Yeah, I don't. Th- I think he's been in some other stuff. I can't remember now. No, he might have been in like one of the Law and Orders or something. But <laughs> he's one of the, you know. Yeah. I know my friend Hector Elizondo Jr would know what the the actor Hector Elizondo Jr. has been in because he would pay attention to that. So that's that's probably the only reason I know that he's an actor. <laughs> it's because I know someone else named Hector Elizondo Jr. Yeah. They're both junior, which is weird too. Yeah, that's pretty that's a pretty good coincidence. Yeah. I don't think he was famous twenty some years ago when Hector was getting his name, so <laughs> I don't think he's named after him or anything. <laughs> Although, you know, there's like a lot of tradition in Mexican names, right? Like, they're, like yeah. even before they're born, they pretty much picked out their names. <laughs> yeah, I think it's something they need like a like a Christian name and then like they have like their family name and then like another family name that's like first or something. Yeah. And then like the mother's middle name is like one of their maiden names or something. Maiden name is in the middle name or something like that. Yeah, I don't really know. And that's why they got so many names is because there's a tradition for where each name comes from. Yeah. But I, I don't know all of Hector's middle names. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they're different than the actor Hector's middle names. Interesting stuff, I know, right? Uh, well, <laughs> this is the uh, third third episode. Yeah, this is episode three. Uh, we last one was our Christmas one because it was right after Christmas. So this is our New Year's one. It said mm-hmm. New Year's. What'd you do for New Year's? I went to the twenty uh, something th- annual appliance toss. Is that what it was called? Yeah. The 20-something? Yeah, I got the official flyer, and it was called the 20-something, because no one's really sure. <laughs> okay, because they, they it's kind of an unofficial thing, right? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of official, but it's kind of elusive. It's kind of... Uh, like, I'm sure the first few was just a bunch of, like, hillbillies throwing shit, but... Yeah. Well, you yeah, should explain what it so. is before I start making yeah, fun well, of it. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> Basically, we park a car, we draw a big target on the top, and then at midnight, everyone starts throwing appliances on it. <laughs> uh, I think this year, the we had, like, a couple water heaters... We had a washing machine, a dishwasher, and uh, oh, I brought a TV. Nice, a tube TV. I don't know, like a big, like these ones with the yeah, tubes. Yeah, not, not like a flat screen or any, or like a thin one. Yeah, it was an old school one. I heard you can't even get tube TVs anymore. They won't make them. Huh? Yeah, I know. I was at. A, I was looking for a TV to buy one, like for cheap, and the tube ones, like you had to pay at least three hundred for like a flat screen. You know. Mm-hmm. That's just more cost efficient now. Because you know, there's companies that'll make them. The more companies make them, the cheaper they can make them. Then you know, the price of those is down. Nobody, yeah. nobody wants to vacuum seal tubes anymore for a television, <laughs> which I think is part of the magic of what TV was. Is that it's? Uh, if you've ever like taken a hammer to an old TV, well, you just threw one, <laughs> threw it at a car. So I assume you know it like pops, right? Yeah, that's because it's like vacuum sealed inside. For, for some reason, I don't know. I don't know any of this. I'm not. <laughs> not qualified to talk about yeah, the electronics of <laughs> I know there's tubes in there and they pop when you throw it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it's a bunch of people get together, we throw appliances at cars. It's cool. And but yeah, the first couple I'm sure were like kind of unofficial, so that's why you don't know which one exactly it is, if it's the twenty fourth year, the twenty fifth year or... Yeah, I don't really know too much about the history of it. Yeah. How'd you find out about this? Uh my uncle is one of the founding oh. founding people. One of the first hillbillies to throw a thing in a car. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> 
They're really hillbillies. They're no, very I well educated. That, but, I mean, it does. But the, sound... the concept of throwing appliances at a car seems hillbilly. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's that's what <laughs> you unless would... they're doing it ironically. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you would think, but I mean, they're kind of well educated people. I feel like they're doctors and stuff when I'm over their house, <laughs> but I don't really, I don't, I can't make any calls on their occupations. They just got a lot of money. It seems like. I mean, maybe not a lot of money, but they make a modest living. Do they go and like scrap all the the junk? When done? Yeah, I guess they, they scrap the junk when they're done. I guess what they do is pile all the appliances into the broken car and then drive it down the street to the junkyard. Okay. So this car still works at the end of the night? Uh, Depends, I guess. Okay. So they, like, pull the car with the stuff? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess there's a... I guess one time they were driving. They drove it back and got pulled over. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what happened after that, but... All right. Uh, well, what did I do for New Year's? I went to my girlfriend's house. That's about it. I watched the new Planet of the Apes movie, the one with uh, James Franco. Was, yeah, how was, was it? It was pretty good. Made me want to watch the old ones. And even the Tim Burton one. <laughs> Not because it's... I remember we went and saw it in the theaters, I think. We were talking about this the other day, I think. Yeah. But we went and saw it in the theaters, and it was really bad. It's got a really terrible twist ending. <laughs> but uh, there's just a lot of like references to it in the new one. And then it's it's nice because there's a lot of references to like the Tim Burton one and the older ones, and they're like really kind of tactfully put in there. Yeah, so it kind of pl- pays like homage, right? But in, in like a non-overt way, most of the time, there's like one time where it's just like really goes over top with like somebody screams, you know, Charlton Heston's line. And he's like, "Get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape!" And <laughs> that was just like, well, it's a little bit overt, but. <laughs> Oh, the got... other ones were, were were tactful and classy and kind of there, but not, you know, over your head with it. And... But overall, yeah, it was a good movie. I mean, you knew what was going to happen. It was like, you know, the prequel to anything. You know what's going to happen. Yeah. I uh, feel like there was a Planet of the Apes movie about, like, monkeys in a lab already. Maybe I'm thinking, maybe I'm thinking of the one after they, like, tame the apes. And they well, the, original, the original series, is, there's five movies. One of which is The Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which is a remake of Technically. <laughs> you know yeah so it's the same story as one of the old ones where the monkeys rise up and everything it's a different it's different in that in the old movies i think it was uh there's time travel and when the planet of the apes blows up at the end of the second spoiler alert but <laughs> when the planet of the apes blows up at the end of the second movie it sends the main the main monkeys back in time to like modern times so then like third fourth and fifth all take place in like our world where they're the monkeys and they're the outcasts and then they have a kid, and then their kid ends up like passing on the genes for super intelligent monkeys. Whereas in this one, it's James Franco's trying to cure Alzheimer's, and he accidentally makes monkeys smart. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was good. Good news. Yeah, well, that's cool. Uh, did you watch Planet of the Apes before or after midnight? After. We did. Well, we stayed around at her, her parents' house for midnight and watched the ball drop, and then went to her cousin's house and watched the movie. Uh, and it was, I don't know if I should go into how how Arab my girlfriend is, but uh, they're they're from the old country, and uh, their TV gets channels from their old country. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get like regular cable; they pay extra to get like the cable from their country. Uh, so, and their big tradition on New Year's is there's like a guy who calls himself like a modern Nostradamus who makes predictions for the year every New Year's. And just every year he says something bad's going to happen, and then everyone freaks out about it. <laughs> so that's like the holiday tradition. Yeah. But what it was is it's like two hours <laughs> of this guy talking and like saying, like, here's, very, some, here's something very specific. It's going to happen to America. Something bad's going to happen. And then here's something very specific. It's going to bad happen to Australia. <laughs> and then he goes through each country and says something <laughs> bad's going to happen to it. Uh, actually, I think he said Kesha at one point. I don't know, because he's speaking in... Arabic. <laughs> yeah. So I was sitting there for two hours just awkwardly not understanding a word of what was They happening. have, like, any subtitles or anything? No. Or no? It's just well, they had like... subtitles, but in Arabic. <laughs> yeah. So I couldn't... I don't read Arabic. <laughs> just like I don't speak it. Um, so that was fun. I got to play on my girlfriend's iPhone for a while. <laughs> That's cool. I still... I've never even, like, really touched one. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're not that great. It's just, like... It's like a handheld, almost computer, you know? But yeah. you know what's cooler is a computer. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I always felt. Like, why would I get like a well, it's, it's like an iPad? To take like I just with you, but... if I have a laptop, so why would I? Right. Yeah. You know, I don't have a laptop, so I do want an iPad. 
but I don't want—I don't want to pay that much for it. <laughs> yeah, I want it to be Star Trek, where like paper is computers, <laughs> and in like Star Trek episodes, it's just like here's my report, and they just hand him like an iPad type thing. <laughs> and this was like 20 years ago before iPads. <laughs> yeah, like if we just like print it out or something, like mm-hmm. you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. That's not what you're talking about. No. <laughs> no, it's just like you know. The, the, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Instead of handing someone like a piece of paper, they hand them like an iPad. Yeah. That's just like here's here's what I typed up, and here's here it is for you. I guess now you just get like a. They're not like that like a cheap. Text though. message or something. Yeah, but I, what I'm saying is, it, this eventually they'll be that cheap that you can just like hand them out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, instead of using paper. Uh, I guess they already do it. Like if you go to like some sort of like fancy convention or something, you're like a businessman, you get like a free like iPad Touch or something. Well, that's that's different though. I mean, that's like a like a, a gift. I'm talking about just as like a means of like transferring data. Is instead of like like transferring the data through your computers, is just handing them a computer with yeah. it on it. <laughs> <laughs> now we don't have time. Uh, we're getting there. I mean, I, we don't have enough time for this new se- next. Right, segment, right. But, uh, I can't. I, you know, I really should find like sit closer and be able to see this timer. Yeah, the time is. Time. I think it's eleven eighteen. Eleven eighteen. But it is really small. I just I wear glasses that aren't good, so I can't see it. <laughs> Even though I'm literally as far away from the screen as Vinny is. So. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I guess we could take a break. If you yeah, want. let's take a break, and we'll uh, come back talk about some current events. Yep. 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 All right. Uh, button on the screen now. Click it. Or ticket. <laughs> 